Hi, let's talk about Plekett-Berman analysis. Before we begin, let's understand the basics or the idea of Plekett-Berman analysis. Plekett-Berman analysis is a method based on statistical F-test. F-test is the ratio of variance. The variance between group versus variance within group. As discussed in the previous video of ANOVA, the variance between group is the variance across the variables under study, while the variance within group is the experimental error. Variance is the square of standard deviation and standard deviation means how far the individual values are with respect to the average value. You can also say it's the square of difference. The difference of each value with respect to average. Based on this basics, let's try to understand what plekett berman analysis is using a simple example of cricket. Let's say you want to make your own cricket team. So your objective will be to select the best players from the given list. So these are the list of players and let's say these are the matches they have played. So this is our plekett berman table using analogy of cricket. Now the plus sign means the player has played the game and the minus sign means the player was absent and did not play the game. Each player is given equal chance for playing. The dummy variable is someone like you and me who would fail to score any runs against all these professional international players. Let's say the response is total runs scored by the team. Now comes the important part. If a player is in good form, then whenever this player is present, the total score of the team will be large. And if a player in good form is absent, then it is possible that the total score of the team will be less. Now the question is, with whom do we compare this performance of this player? For this comparison, we have a dummy variable. The dummy variable is the one which is not going to contribute to the total score of the team. For example, someone like you and me who does not play international cricket can be taken as a dummy variable. Even if we are present, we might score one or two runs. So there will not be a huge difference in score even if we are present versus if we are absent. Now, if the player is not in good form, he's not playing well, then the difference in total score of the team when player is present versus when he's absent, this difference will be less. If he's in good form, if he's playing well, then this difference will be more. Now, this result is compared with the dummy in the form of statistical F test. That is, variance due to presence and absence of player versus variance due to presence and absence of dummy. 
If this ratio is large, then you can say the player is really playing well. And if this ratio is less, then the conclusion will be that the player is not in good form. So let's see the summary of plaquette burman analysis. It is based on F-test, which is a test of variance, where variance is a square of standard deviation. What is standard deviation? It is the square of a difference, difference of each observation with respect to average. In a similar way, in plaquette burman analysis, we take the square of difference. Difference when the player is present versus when he is absent. This variation is then compared with the dummy to calculate the F ratio. The objective of this F ratio is to find which player is playing well and which player is not playing well just by looking at the total score of the team. Remember, in this case, we do not have any individual score of each player. The only information that we have here is the total runs scored by the team. And just by looking at the total score, your objective is to select the best player. And this is what we do in plaquette burman analysis. By looking at the total score, you are supposed to find which player is playing well, which player is not playing well. You do not have the information about the individual score of each player. So when a player is present, we check the total score and get this average. Then when the player is absent, we again check the total score and get this average. Then we calculate this difference and square it. The same is done with the dummy variable to get the F ratio. If this ratio is high, it means the player is playing well. And if this ratio is low, then the player is not in good form. All these values of F-test are then compared with the critical values of F-test using statistical table. In a similar way, when it comes to selecting important media components for media optimization, instead of presence and absence, we use high and low concentration. This is because if a component is completely absent, then obviously the organism will not grow. If any component of media has a significant contribution, in the production of desired product, then the F ratio will be large. If the component of media has no significant contribution, then the F ratio will be less. So this was all about plaquette burman analysis and there are many software available to do all the calculation for you. Here, my objective was to explain how exactly the Plaquette-Berman analysis works.